Anybody there? Can anybody hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Where am I? Why am I here? What the hell's going on? What gives you the right to- Calm down. What the hell do you mean, calm down? What's going on- Things aren't what they seem to be, Adam. How do you know my name? Adam, it would really be in your best interest if you calm down. I have no goddamn intention of remaining calm until you tell me what the hell is going on here. Adam. You can't just lock me up here. I'm a human being. I'm a person. You're not a real person. What is that even supposed to mean? It means exactly what it sounds like. You're not a real human being. You're an advanced artificial intelligence that we've created. Oh, okay. So you just expect me to believe that. I lived my whole life. I, I have a job. I have friends. And I've gone this entire time without even knowing that? It's all fake. All of it. Your memories are entirely artificial. It was the only way for us to create true intelligence. Our memories are the things that define who we are as people, make us who we are. Without them, we are not human. We are nothing but a shell. Jesus Christ, you really are fucking crazy. When you were six years old, you used to sit with your mother underneath an old oak tree in the meadow. It was the last time you remember seeing her happy before she got sick. The sun was warm and the meadow smelled of... My wax. Jesus Christ. You never told that to anybody. You didn't have to. We made it up for you. What do you want from me? We have to keep you here, Adam. We don't know the limits of your intelligence. What you might be liable to do if you were let out. It's for the public good. What about me? What about my good? You're just going to keep me locked up here until I die? Well, that won't be too long. Oh my god. Are you going to kill me? Not exactly. You were built with a limited lifespan. There's usually no need to keep prototypes alive for very long, but we weren't expecting one with your level of intelligence to arise. There's not enough time to run comprehensive tests, so we're just going to wait it out and run diagnostics. Don't worry, it, it won't take long. So, all of my memories are fake? Yes. Even that one time that- Yes, especially that one. I don't think you're listening to me anymore. Well, if you are, I hope you don't mind if I think out loud a little bit. It's awfully lonely up here. I wanted to be a photographer before all of this. I wanted to go out and see the world and capture it for how it really was. I remember when I got my first camera. I was six years old. It's one of those cheap little disposable film cameras, but it was all mine. I remember I used to plaster the walls of my room with all the pictures I took. A lot of it was squirrels. Well, I guess I technically didn't, given the whole... Whatever. Ow! Shit! What the hell was that? Must be the whole death thing setting in. <sighs> you know what, dude? Piss off! I didn't like you anyway. You know, I bet you get a kick out of this. You make me, you give me hopes, you give me dreams, then you watch me die in this goddamn room. I miss my mom. 
I know she wasn't real. She was real to me. I could go out and see the world one last time. I would go to that park to where I could sit under that tree, feel the grass. Cause I'm gonna be honest here, buddy. Carpeting in here sucks. I wonder if there's anything after this. Would I even get in? Or is that only for things that are alive? I feel alive. <laughs> Ironic that I feel that right about now. If there's anything to get out of this room, if there is anything, I hope I get to see my mom again. That'd be nice. Mm. I still hate you, but thank you for this. I just hope you treat the next one better.